More than 100 children are on the waiting list for Big Brothers Big Sisters of East Tennessee, but they aren't there aren't enough volunteers. We first launched our Live a Little series here on 10 News nearly a decade ago to help find more mentors. Tonight, Heather Wallaga shares the story of former 10 News reporter Erin Donovan and her little sister Samira. She loves to travel a lot. I love the fact that she's so adventurous. She's funny but cuckoo at the same time. But then when it comes to food, she's like, I really just like chicken fingers. Erin and Samira are quickly becoming inseparable. Well, I have been to Zaxby's or Charlie's. Uh, we went to Miss Jackie's. These two peas in a pod were recently matched through Big Brothers Big Sisters of East Tennessee. What kind of a big sister is she? Amazing. For years, Erin was a big sister to another little girl, but she's not so little anymore. And she's going to college, and so um, I was like, you know, there's still something missing. So I reapplied to be a big sister, went through everything again, and I was matched with Samira. All three of them met at the theater to see Aladdin. The movie was great. So we're still friends and we do stuff together. It's this kind of bond. You honestly get so much out of it. That led Aaron to start Live a Little on 10 News more than a decade ago. I'm Aaron Donovan and this is my little sister journey. Highlighting Tune children in, in need of mentors. It just takes a little time to make a big difference. To see some of those other relationships that we fostered then and that you're fostering now. It's just an amazing program to see Live a Little and Big Brothers Big Sisters keep going. You know, you're not taking on the world, you're just taking on a child and they just need a little bit of help. It's exactly the kind of big sister Samira was looking for. If you have an older sister or brother, you could talk to them and they could help you through your troubles. Erin is determined to keep making a difference. <laughs> It's as simple as spending a little time with a little girl who wants a friend. That's why you volunteer, because you want to be part of the change in your community. One day out of the week, you hang out with a little kid. That's all they're asking for. If you have a couple hours to commit two or three times a month, you too can change the life of a child. We've got a link to sign up right now at WBIR.com.